Good evening, Cox fans, and welcome to another edition of Sports Talk with Rags here in Season 4, Episode 27. And tonight, here we are honored here to have the head baseball coach of Cox Varsity, Matt Itner. Matt, how you doing this evening? Doing well, Rags. Thanks for having me on. Really appreciate it. Sure, no problem. And let's... Uh, Let's start at the beginning. I mean, uh, you know, it's definitely been a great, a great season here for uh, Cox baseball here in 2024. But something that uh, I've heard a long time ago, when the regular season comes, now it's time to, you know, what the hard work was in the fall and the winter. Now it's time to go out and produce what the uh what the off-season practice was yeah absolutely i mean this is when it starts getting fun right so when the right. um when the pressure starts to mount a little bit when um the chips are on the table when everything's on the line that's what you prepare all year for um so we're excited to you know jump into this new opportunity new season for us um everybody's o and o everybody's here for a reason everybody's um done what they needed to do during the regular season to earn their spot here. So um, it's anybody's game at this point. So you have to come ready to play every day and you got to continue to prepare and train at a high level. Yes. And, and also here, I mean, I mean, talk about, uh, you know, taking the team and going to play Mark Gibbs there in St. John's. I mean, uh, Mark has come on on a previous episode, but my brother, Mike Ragsdale, he played against, uh, Mark's brother, Kevin, you know, there in college when Kevin was um, at Old Dominion. But, you know, talk about uh, taking the team up the road on that Saturday and playing St. John's baseball. Yeah, it was a great experience for us. You know, I love getting our guys on the road for one, just to kind of get acclimated to traveling. And then two, just like that bonding experience, right? Like their ability to like spend time with one another on a bus or ability to spend one you know, time with one another in the hotel room, you know, our, we try to do that as much as we can um, during the regular season. We were fortunate enough to go on two, uh, you know, two trips this year, one to St. John's, then two down to Charleston. Um, but that, you know, besides the baseball piece, just what your team is able to uh, learn from each other, right. Um, is I think, I think you can't recreate that, you know, in, in another environment. So just the travel piece was great for us. It was early in the season, so we got acclimated pretty quickly. I think it was the, like, second, you know, weekend of the season. Right. And then on top of that, we got to, you know, get challenged by a really good opponent, you know, and Mark and St. John's do a tremendous job. They were just recently crowned the WCAC champions. <laughs> um, they play an incredible style. So it was really good for us to kind of see um, – you know, where we had some holes in the boat, right? They're very good at exposing that. We're able to kind of see that early and kind of get back to the drawing board and um, see where we can make some adjustments in our game uh, moving forward. But, you know, they um, they can do it all. I mean, they can pitch it, they can, they can pick it, like they got guys that can swing it, but they play a very aggressive style offense. Um, you know, and they run the bags very well. Um, they can hit you with a lot of different stuff. So are we, we kind of purposely put that early for us to see uh, kind of challenge us a little bit to see kind of what we we're made of. And, you know, I think it, you know, hopefully it helps pay, it pays dividends down the line for us over these next couple of weeks. Yeah. And then your second road trip, I mean, uh, similar to what, uh, you know, Roland does at Western branch and, you know, Pat does at Greenbrier Christian, you know, taking the team on the road there for, uh, there for spring break and yes everybody wants to win but you know when you go out of town you talk about you know uh building team unity and then and then also you know uh challenging the the kids for when you come back and you play the second half of the regular season yeah i mean it was um you know like, like you said, like going down and traveling for one is, you know, the benefits of it are huge. And we ran into two really good teams in Charleston, one star, one's with Stars Mill out of Georgia. Mm -hmm. You know, they were competing for a state championship. I don't know if they ended up winning it or not, but they were in the state championship game. And then Catawba Ridge um, out of South Carolina, out of the Charlotte, it's kind of the Charlotte Metroplex area. 
Um, they were very talented as well. Um, so again, we, um, <clears throat> we definitely learned some, some tough lessons down there. Um, but I really feel like it allowed us to come back and play some of our best baseball on the backside of spring break, you know, and I think it's important sometimes to kind of get your team and get them in a position where their backs are against the wall a little bit and you kind of see what they're made of and see a little bit of fight come out in them. And we're definitely trying to, we're definitely trying to create that early in our season so that we know that we have it, you know, later on when possibly it's in a playoff game or whatever it may be where our backs are against the wall, you know, we're six to nine outs away and we're, you know, we're chasing a couple runs. You know, I, I really think, exposing your teams to some adversity, right, is important. Um, you know, we're, we're trying to play the toughest schedule so that we're prepared to try to win the most important game. Um, and that's kind of our philosophy and that's what we've always gone with. So both of those trips, you know, provided, provided us with some incredible experiences. Yes. And, you know, the other thing is, is with how big, the beach district is, you know, I mean, there's really with playing a district schedule, there's really not much room in the regular season to play, to play at a district. Cause since you guys play uh, in the district, everybody twice, you know, and go in a spring break, you know, there's only a handful of uh, out of district games that you can schedule. Yeah, we were allowed to get five. So we have 16 beach, 16 beach games scheduled for us. And then we're allowed to go out and get five. We actually did a benefit game this year, which gave, gave us like, you know, that sixth game, but didn't count. That was against Benedictine, which was, I think they won the state championship tonight, I right. believe. Um, so that was another incredible opponent. And we got to go over and play um, Pat and GCA. So they're another state champion. Right. Um, so I, if you look at, you know, our, our non-beach district schedule, um, it was definitely a challenging slate. Um, and again, like you said, that, you know, hopefully it pays dividends for us down the stretch of exposing us to that, you know, level of, of pressure and talented teams. Right. Yes. And I see that, uh, that your, your regional game has already, um, has already hit the, uh, the schedule here with, uh, Wednesday night you know, uh, Wednesday late afternoon host in Kellum. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll, um, we'll be hosting Kellum on Wednesday at five o'clock first pitch at Tilly field, which we're excited about. And, um, you know, Hey, good ball club. Yeah. They played us tough the first time. I think it was four one. Um, they recently, you know, beat first colonial in their, uh, regular season finale. Um, so, <clears throat> They are, um, you know, they're a tough team. You know, they uh, they tend to pitch it and, and play pretty good defense. And um, you, know, you add some timely hitting in there, and, and they can be definitely a really good ball club. So, you know, we just got to be ready to play and uh, execute our game plan. You know, and you know, like I tell our guys this time of year, like, you know, you got to play, you got to play with your head and your heart. You know, you can't play with just one or the other. So, uh, if you can do that, you give your chance, you give yourself the best chance to win. Yes. And, you know, the other thing is, is like, like you talked about, you know, going over to GCA and playing pad and, and yes, to all the listeners out there due to weather, you know, private school state turn, tournament championship went to today. So right before we started, you know, GCA won their, uh, their state title. And I think, uh, Benedictine and Miller, you know, is, uh, but, uh, are playing right now, but don't, don't you try to, uh, you know, you try to play Greenbrier, you know, whenever, yeah, every year, whenever, you every can. year. Yeah. yeah well, I love, I really enjoy us going over there. We usually pick a Friday night or a Saturday night, you know, a couple of reasons for that is, is like one, you know, it's an opportunity for us to play underneath the lights. Um, you know, we, in the beach district, you know, we play four or five o'clock games, so we don't play underneath the lights. Well, the problem with that is, is you could then play possibly a region semi or a state quarterfinal or a state semi or a state final underneath the lights. You know, you don't want that to be your first time. So, you know, Pat's always very gracious on giving us like a nice Friday or Saturday night where we can get over there and, 
entangle with him um, a little bit, you know, and then, you know, it's always a great crowd at GCA. It's always an awesome environment. Their guys always play hard. So it's something that, you know, I mean, even Pat and I at the end of our game this year was just like, Hey, you know, go ahead and let's get it on the books, you know, because, you know, I think it's, I think it's beneficial for our program to get over there and just kind of be in that high stress environment. Right. You know, it, it it's going to feel, it's going to feel like a, a playoff game, you know, and the more that we can expose our guys to that, um, I think is critical. Yeah. And then also with you, um, leading you know the cox cox program and with you being with you being an alum you know what's uh you know you and with the tradition of cox baseball you know i mean wh what is it like when you see you know kids that you coach you know that come out of your program and play and play at the next level or you know like we've talked about before with with you knowing Chris Taylor and what he's, what he's fought, you know, with his hard work, you know, but starting with Cox baseball, you know, so how is that uh, rewarding here with, uh, with you being part of the program when you were a student athlete and now that you're coaching the Falcons baseball? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's obviously been a dream of mine come true to, to be able to lead the program that, you know, was so, impactful to me as a player right and then actually you know played in you know and then passed that even as an adult right you know it's just like it's just made it a tremendous impact on me as as a person so trying to create that environment and make that environment even better for kids right uh, that experience right is something that we talk about a lot in our program as coaches and as just as like you know when we talk to our parents and, and everybody that's involved is like you know we're trying to create the best experience for our kids right and you know it is it it's awesome to see the guys that are you know at the college level right now that are having tremendous impacts but it's also great to see kids that maybe aren't playing college baseball but like they're crushing it you know and they're getting into med school or they're getting in the dental school or they're becoming a cpa or you know they're going to law school or you know, they're out in the working world, like starting their own business. Like there's so many success stories, you know, so it's a lot broader than just, you know, you know, a guy who's playing college baseball. Um, that's who we tend to focus our attention on. Right. Because it's like, but you know, there's also like we tell our, our players and our parents, you know, 99.9% .9 of our guys are going to end up going pro in something other than baseball, you know, so if we're not preparing them through this game to be able to be a productive employee, an employer, a husband, a father, whatever that figure may be, then we're really kind of missing the boat in this whole thing. So, um, yeah, like to answer your question, yeah, it's awesome. We got 19 guys right now that are playing college baseball. We got two guys that are in professional baseball. Jojo Munitz, who plays for Lynchburg, just hit them to the Super Regional today. You know, Sam Slevin's closing for Randolph-Macon. They're going to the Super Regional, you know, mm -hmm. like CNUs. I know in the they're in the fight. I don't know if they advanced today or not, but, you know, we have two guys over there. And I know the Lycos kid hit a bomb yesterday out of Western Branch that's playing for him. You know, so, so incredible to see just the, the amount of talent in Tidewater where, you know, you can go turn on ESPN Plus. I mean, watch Harrison Didowick last night you know, blast a two run bomb to win it for him in 13th inning. But then you have D Martini that's playing, you know, an incredible third base for Virginia Tech. So really, you know, really fun times for the area in general with the amount of talent that is coming out of here and that's producing, you know, like I said, you can go on the ESPN plus app and you could watch guys from Tidewater all day long in college baseball, which is pretty incredible. Um, yeah. So it's cool. It's cool to see not only from our program, but just from the area. Yeah. And, and also with uh, Ethan, you know, being, uh, being part of who's baseball. And then, and then not only with it being an ACC game, but also with it being a in-state rival of the yeah. school that's, you know, two and a half hours from them there off of 81. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was an incredible series. I mean, and like you said, like, you know, having guys that have played at your school, like an Ethan that's in that, you know, I mean, he scored the tying run last night. He was on first, I believe when Didowick hit the bomb mm -hmm. and um, 
you know, just seeing that. And then, you know, you go, like you said, you go up 81, you got Fenwick Trimble who's having a tremendous year at JMU, you know, mm-hmm. his brother's a senior, George Mason South who's having. So, you know, we could spend a lot of time talking about those guys. But like I said, I mean, at some point, you know, the game, the game tells you to put the cleats down and yeah. you have to be prepared for kind of that next step, you know, and the hope is, is that what we're able to do in our program they can pull some of those strings when that time of their life comes where they're prepared to take that next step. Yeah, yes. And, you know, the thing is when I, when I helped roll in there with uh, 14 through 18 and, you know, and it went from triple A, double A, single A to, you know, one through six and, you know, and it was Cox and FC and, and Kellum and Ocean Lakes, you know, they're at, uh, they're at six, but, you know, I know with enrollment here, you guys have, uh, you know, gone down to five, but that region, you know, and you guys have been at five here the last few years, but that region is like a state tournament here with, <laughs> here yeah. with how 5A is teamed up with the Beach District and the Chesapeake schools of the Southeastern District. Yeah, I mean, it's tough. I mean, no doubt. I mean, but, you know, every game this time of year is tough. I mean, that's what we were talking about as a staff the other day is, you know, you can draw back on a lot. I can draw back on a couple of experiences. I know in 2021, our region quarterfinal game was against Maury, and that was the team that had Cullen McKay. That was a team that had, um, I forget, the, the two brothers. One was in center field. The other was the pitcher. You had Kennedy Jones on that team. So that was our first game of the playoffs. We're playing that Maury team, you know? And so, you know, with this is like, you know, you're going to have to go through good teams to win it. So right. you might as well just start by going through them. That's the way I look at it. It's just like, hey, our first round game is going to be really, really tough. And that's how every game's going to be moving past this. So, like, let's just accept it and move forward, you know? I mean, I think a dangerous place to live is like, oh, well, you know, if we get this matchup, it's that, opponent. you know, it's like, you just got to know that everybody's good and you right. got to accept the fact that everybody's good and everybody's coming to the park to try to keep their season alive. So you got to go on with that mindset and not try to think about, well, this guy or that guy or this matchup or that matchup, you know, I don't know. That's at least my right. philosophy. It doesn't have to be everybody's. Well, and the thing about Kellum is, you know, uh, you know, Kel. I mean, I mean, St. Clair has has been leading that program for a long time. Absolutely, and like I said, like you know, they're gonna do they're gonna do a lot of things well. Right. Um, you know, they're gonna be fundamentally sound. They're going to do the little things. Um, so we have to be ready to play. After all, we have to be ready to go pitch one, and we have to understand that. Um, it's a, it's a region playoff game and that doesn't matter who we're playing that, you know, it's going to be hard. Like, it's just, we have to accept the fact of that, you know, it's like, if you, you can't be looking for easy this time of year or you're not going to be looking very long, put it that way. (laughs) Right. And, uh, you know, like the, uh, like, like a line from, you know, a league of their own with uh, Tom Hanks, you know, Hey, if it wasn't hard, everybody would want to do it, you know? And so, you know, but, uh, but the thing is, is with coaching, with playing, you know, now part two of the season and it's win or go home. So, you know, just the, you know, the competitive juices are, um, are going and, uh, so you guys host the first round. Now, 5A, is it at a neutral site for uh, for semis and finals? Yeah, semis and finals are at Indian River. So, okay. um, yeah, we get to, we're get we fortunate enough to host on Wednesday. And then, um, you know, past that, the uh, next two games would be at Indian River. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, now with uh, – with host sites and, you know, with starting off on Wednesday, you know, will the sim, will the semis be after Memorial day? Probably. Uh, no, the semis are actually on Friday. Oh, Oh, okay. So it's before, uh, before okay. Memorial day. Yeah. All right, Matt. Well, Hey, I, uh, I know that, uh, you've, um, been on 
here a few times. I know that uh, with living on this side of the water, you know, I don't make it to that many games, but with social media and Game Changer, I've certainly, uh, you know, paid attention to uh, Cox Baseball. So appreciate your time for uh, for coming on and sharing sharing about the team and uh, good luck here this season. Hey, thanks so much. I really appreciate you and the work you do to help promote, you know, not only, you know, baseball, but just sports in general and Hampton Roads and stuff like that. Um, you know, you're, you're always, you're always one to try to continue to grow, you know, our game. And like I said, sports in general. So I appreciate the time and effort that you put into that. And it's always sure. a pleasure getting on here and chopping it up with you a little bit. Yeah. Well, Hey, thanks, Matt. I certainly appreciate it. And, uh, you know, uh, Go Cox, and I know with uh, with the traffic in Hampton Roads, this game changer app is uh, is certainly uh, certainly key to to keep tabs on multiple games. Yeah, absolutely, man. So we appreciate you supporting, and we appreciate you watching us, and uh, you know, hopefully, we're fortunate enough to uh, continue to to add some days to our season. Right. Well, hey, I. Certainly appreciate your time and thanks for the uh, thanks for the comments and uh, tell tell your team and uh, your your staff uh, good luck here starting on uh, starting on Wednesday and um, you know go uh, Cox baseball. Thanks, Rags. All right, so that's uh, Matt Itner here on this evening. Thanks again, Matt.